Next, talks aimed at reviving the 2015 Iran nuclear deal resume in Vienna Monday. The deal was torpedoed in 2018 when former U.S. President Donald Trump unilaterally withdrew the U.S. and reimposed harsh sanctions on Iran. Tehran responded by resuming and accelerating its enrichment of uranium. Iranian officials have vowed not to enrich that beyond 60 percent, even if the talks fail. Some observers, though, estimate that the country could already be just months or even just weeks away from full readiness to produce a nuclear weapon. The last round of talks earlier this month ended with no progress from European and Iranian negotiators. The U.S. has not been participating directly. Well, for more, we can cross to France 24's correspondent in Vienna, Anthony Mills. Uh, Anthony, what's the mood like there? We're looking at the eighth round of talks here with no results. Is there much hope for progress this time around? There's not zero hope. Uh, there is a sense of deja vu. It is, as you say, the eighth round of, of talks. And um, by some measures, they've just been kind of going on and on uh, with very little to show in terms of uh, results. Uh, however, uh, there is still a glimmer of hope. And uh, in the words of the Russians, who, of course, are a part of the grouping uh, that supported the original deal, the so-called JCPOA, um, one indicator of that glimmer of hope is the fact that uh, there's a meeting shortly after Christmas. Uh, difficult to read into that substantively, but uh, certainly a suggestion of a glimmer of hope there. Uh, there's also um, a, a document apparently in circulation, uh, a possible new draft, because, of course, let's not forget that uh, uh, just a few months ago there was a presidential election in Iran, and that kind of derailed whatever progress may have been made uh, towards reestablishing the deal, because, of course, uh, Ibrahim Raisi, the new president, is a hardliner, and he had to assemble his team, and it's a hardline team. And so, uh, in some senses, the negotiations went back to square one. But there is talk uh, of a new document. Now, whether or not that uh, is something that is the basis for substantive progress in today's talks uh, remains to be seen. Uh, but there's the suggestion reportedly on the part of the Iranian foreign minister that this document exists, that it contains certain guarantees. Iran, of course, wanting substantive guarantees this time around, because, of course, as you say, the original deal was essentially shredded by Donald Trump. Well, the Europeans trying very hard to keep the deal alive. The key here, though, is clearly the U.S. and their sanctions. Now, U.S. Re representatives rather are there in Vienna. They're not in the room. What's the strategy here? Is the U.S. presence just too toxic for the Iranians after the Trump blindside or the Iranian, Iranian asks just too big for Washington? What's going on? In the end, this really is about the U.S. Uh, versus Iran. And uh, a lot of trust that had taken years to build up in the run-up to the original deal, which was shredded by the Trump administration back in 2018, a lot of that trust has simply evaporated. And neither side really are ready to sit in the same room face to face. So what's actually happening is that the other uh, elements to the talks, the other parties to the talks, including, of course, the European Union, are effectively operating as mediators, trying to reestablish that trust. But the bottom line is, Iran says there's going to be no progress at all until the sanctions are lifted, those harsh sanctions that have come into place. Uh, and Iran wants them lifted immediately. And the United States saying, well, we can't lift them immediately. You have to uh, take certain measures to uh, increase confidence as well and roll back the violations of the original deal and the enrichment of uranium. A difficult impasse there then as we head into this uh, eighth round of talks in Vienna. We'll be keeping a close eye on that uh, this evening as those talks get underway. France 24's Anthony Mills for us there from Vienna. Thanks very much.